ancient gates hear the word of the Lord ancient gates over families hear the word of the Lord I speak with the voice of prophecy the angel of the Lord is setting those families free right now setting them free right now Lord let not one person in that family go without a deliverance tonight by the spirit of God I see rain falling and the Lord is telling me that he's bringing a refreshing to families right now right now not not everybody not everybody there are specific families let the rain fall oh God I see the rain falling like upon a dry ground, upon a dry ground, on specific families, inside and outside. Where is that family, oh God? Where is that family, oh God? Where is that family, oh God? They come under the influence of your word. refreshing the refreshing the refreshing the refreshing family that came from there Gaskia the Lord is bringing mighty breakthrough and restoration to that family right now Stella Stella the Lord is bringing restoration for Stella Stella a lady by name Stella lift your hands where you are Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Where are you coming from? In the name of the Lord Jesus. The Lord is healing something in your stomach right now as I speak because I see something. It's as if it's been removed. Let it go right now. In the name of the Christ of God. Now.
let her go there is a woman here the power of God is coming upon you right now that is witchcraft now bring the person out there are two people outside the Lord is bringing a miracle the power of God will come upon them right now two of them outside mightily like a wind hallelujah there are at least nine ladies who will be healed right now of I'm holding my stomach and I'm feeling severe pains there and the Lord is telling me this is a miracle I'm bringing Lord where are those ladies right now by the power of the Holy Spirit wherever they are in this congregation right now wherever they are wherever they are wherever they are wherever they are inside and outside wherever they are wherever they are healing comes to you right now healing comes to you right now healing comes to you right now by the power of the Holy Spirit healing comes to you right now healing comes to you right now healing comes to you right now hallelujah Hallelujah. I'm hearing something like Mama Memuna. Something that has to do with Memuna. Is it Mama Memuna or some, something with the name Memuna? Something that has to do with the name Memuna. The Lord is bringing a miracle to that family right now. Tonight is your night of breakthrough. Lift your hands and begin to ask the Lord to visit you. Lift your hands and begin to ask the Lord to visit you. Hallelujah. 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 Where is Victor and his wife, the usher? Please come out quickly. Please quickly, quickly, where are they? Because I'm the Lord is opening my eyes in the realm of the spirit and I'm seeing that the devil wants to harm your wife and harm your child the devil wants to harm your wife and harm your child lay your hands on your stomach baby I speak to you hear the word of the Lord there's no more delay the power of God is coming upon you your baby is due for delivery and in the name of Jesus I curse the spirit that wants to bring any delay father in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that soon after now she will deliver safely without CS like the Hebrew women in the name of Jesus Victor lay your hands on your wife's stomach that's what the Lord is asking me to do Father in the name of Jesus Christ 
I release an anointing right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. By the power of the Holy Spirit. That delayed delivery. Baby. Your time to come is now. And there is no more delay. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every biological process that needs to happen. For this child to deliver. In the name of Jesus let it be. In Jesus name God bless you. Bless you. Hallelujah. There are two people. I'm seeing the fire of God coming upon their eyes. Eyes. Their eyes. It's like a burning sensation. It will come upon you right now. Literal fire. Like physical fire. You will feel it on your eyes. Burning. God is, is ending confusion. Confusion. Confusion in those lives. Lord, wherever they are in the name of Jesus, let this miracle happen to them right now. Why is she here? Huh? With what? Come, madam. Are you a family? Come, come and stand. Where are you from, madam? You are from where? I'm from Tishi Hospital, Benue Street. Benue she, State, Tishi she's Hospital. Sick. Yeah. She, what's, what's wrong with her? Huh? Huh? Give her a Hold on. Village. The what? They, they charm you from village. They charm you? From village with here. All over the world, they plenty. They be like there are many. What's wrong with her? Are you a daughter? What's wrong with her? She's sick right from village. Eh? She's sick from village. Eh, what is wrong with her? Nobody knows what is wrong. I have a near. I have a near. The amaurosis. All my body they pour water. Pour hot water for me. No, that's not what is wrong with her. I'm seeing a whirlwind. This is madness. And HIV, this is madness. HIV. Uh, forget about the issue of HIV. HIV is a simple issue. This is madness. Because I'm seeing that this woman is supposed to remove her clothes and be walking on the street like a mad woman. And then you will be the next person. Hold on. Hallelujah. Madam, look at me. You believe in Jesus? Hold my hands. Just hold my hands. Look at me. I cast that spirit in the name of Jesus. I release your mind to come back right now. I restore your sanity by the power of the Holy Spirit. This is not all of you. Where are the others? Eh? Eh? My son, there outside. Because I'm, hold on, hold on. I'm seeing a grave. Who is in the grave? That is my, my, my father. My, Your father? My father, don't. Because, because, uh uh. Madam, as I'm looking at you, I'm seeing that you didn't come alone. You came with a child and it's outside. Bring the person. Is there, is there a child like that outside? Is there somebody like that? Go and bring the child. That's your child? Your child. Come. In the glory and the power I see miracles, signs and wonders. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My dear, let me pray for you. Mommy, what you think is HIV is not HIV, it's witchcraft. Are you getting what I'm saying? 
it's, it's, it's not just that it's HIV, it's witchcraft. Huh? We have to pray for you because this is the spirit of death all over this family. Sister, hold my hands and I pray with you. You believe in Jesus? You are serious with him? Say after me, Jesus, I believe in you. Father, I set her free right now from the power of witchcraft in the name of Jesus Christ. Mama, I release you right now in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I want to pray for this boy. Boy, how are you? Hold my hands. What's his name? Wisdom. His name is Wisdom. So that you will not become a stubborn boy, mysteriously stubborn, and then you will not know what is the cause. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray. shines in the darkness and the darkness cannot comprehend it leave her right now and never to return again I command your exit out of this family in the name of Jesus the Christ in the name of Jesus the Christ Just allow me to do what I'm doing. So sit down. Where is your mom? Who is the new person you came with today? You came with somebody new. Come. for you. Where is he from? Where is he from? No, my son. My son. Okay, your me. son. Yes, for the job. My brother, I need to pray for you and, and your wife for two things. Number one, so that when you get married, there will not be delay in childbirth. I need to pray for you for that. And then secondly, I don't know why I'm seeing this, but God is setting your finances free because this is, this is financial hardship. Is that true? In fact, it's part of the reason why this thing is delayed. Is that true? It's part of your expectation. That's why you came. Because it's lack of money. You would have married her. It's not like there's any limitation. Hold hands together and let me pray for you. Lord Jesus, I pray and thank you. By the anointing of the Holy Spirit, I pray for you, my dear, that no power of darkness will block your womb. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I declare speed to your marriage and I pray for your hands. May your hands begin to produce in the name of Jesus Christ. May you be a strong support to him in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please sit down, sit down. Let's, let's just look at a few things. There's a lot God will be doing tonight. Let's just look at a few things. Welcome to 
May miracle service in the name of Jesus. Acts chapter 3. I just want to point something very quickly that the Lord put in my heart. Ushers, well done. I'd like us to celebrate our ushers. Hallelujah. You don't want to imagine how many injuries these guys carry every time because people are manifesting. You see all kinds of wild spirits behaving in several ways. You alone are God. You are God alone. You alone are God. You alone are God. You are God alone. Hallelujah. All through while. I prayed and prepared for this meeting and I began to ask the Lord what he would have me share as we prepare the ground for his mighty presence and the Lord answered me in just one word expectation 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 Acts chapter 3 please I'll just admonish us and then we'll get straight to the business of the night. There's so much God wants to do. So much God wants to do. Hallelujah. Please make sure you don't just become a spectator. There is no reason why you should go back the same way you came. There is no reason. There is no reason. Hallelujah. Flog it out with destiny in this place tonight agree and stand in for your family don't just be the one clapping for others as God is changing the stories of people the woman is praying to God right now and the Lord is telling me to attend to her before we continue madam please come yes because you are the one talking to the Lord and the Lord is saying please visit this woman before we start Madam, your moment of breakthrough has come. In the name of Jesus. Please stand up. Because as I'm looking at you, I'm seeing a lot of hardship. This is what I'm seeing. Intense hardship. You have cried and cried and cried. Who is James? James. I'm he's hearing. My, he's my uncle. James is your uncle. Yes, sir. Where is he? He's at Abuja. Doing what? He's, a, he's working there. Why is he not helping you? They don't care for another. Because as I'm seeing you, madam, I'm seeing you in something that looks like a cage. And that's all I'm seeing. You are alone like in a barren land. There is nobody that helps you. Yes, no yes. matter, there are people in your life who can help you. Yes. But nobody helps nobody. you. Because as I'm looking at you now, I'm seeing a body without a face. Yes. I'll be crying and crying unto God. Who did you come here with? With my children, Dad. Come. Because the Lord wants, stand up now. Where are they, children? Please. Okay, they are small, small. Okay, okay. Just guide them. I thought they were adults. The Lord is visiting you. They will not tell you you have fibroid. Hmm? Madam, because the pain that you sometimes feel when you wake up in the morning. Yes. Is that true? Yes. You wake up in the morning and there's severe pain. Yes, even here, right now. Here, here. In my stomach. And this is the formation of fibroid. Oh my Lord. I'm seeing it. Have formation of fibroid. Me. That's why you are here, madam. The Lord is going to touch you. He's a merciful God. Amen. This gentleman is going to be a very powerful man of God. The Lord is going to use him mightily. The Lord is going to use him mightily. 
I keep having this pain, this pain. I don't know what it is. I've been holding my stomach because it's been a very pulling effect. A pulling effect. God is still healing people of this stomach ache right now. Especially ladies. Don't worry, I will attend to you. Just hang on, please. Let's, I still feeling, I'm still feeling this sharp pain and it will not let me go. You notice I've been behaving like a sick person on the stage. Father, where are these people? Please, wherever they are right now, in the name of Jesus, wherever you are in this congregation, may the power of God touch you right now. Even if you do not know that that is what is wrong with you, in the name of Jesus Christ, inside and outside, oh God, let your wind and your fire begin to touch people and set them free. Set them free. Set them free. Madam, you believe in miracles? Yes, sir. You believe yes, Jesus sir. can heal well, you? Very well. Right now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I believe in him. It's only him that has been delivered. It's only him. Nobody should think you are a witch. Yes, sir. Why are they saying you are a witch? I don't know. Huh? I don't know. Is that true? What I'm saying? Yes. Why should they be telling you you are a witch? I don't you see, know. let me tell you something. This is a very good woman. Amen. But when the hand of the devil turns the destiny of a man, mm. even what is good mm. is considered to be evil. Oh. You will see this woman now and there mm. are people moving around saying she's a witch. This, mm. this is an innocent mother Amen. with children. Amen. You see that? Yes, sir. The prayer that has sustained your family Amen. is you and your son. Amen. Amen. For he hears you when you pray. Amen. I'm going to pray for you. God will turn aside. Amen. He will turn around your captivity. Amen. I believe that. In the that. name of Jesus Christ. I believe that. I believe that. What do you do, madam? I'm trying to now. Only to I'm doing Don't now. worry. Hmm. It's not about what you are doing only. Yes, sir. It's about the hand of God. Amen. You believe that? Amen. I believe Hold my you. hands. You'll be healed right now. Lay your hands there. Madam, look at me. I'm not asking you to guess. You will be healed right now. And you will check yourself because you have faith. Watch what happens to you now. I cause fibroid. You are a wicked spirit. You must let mama go now. Hmm. I release the power of the Holy Spirit upon that body right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Go! Mama, check yourself. Check now. Is there any pain? No, sir. Any pain? Check. No, no, no be sincere. Check yes, it now. Yes, yes. Is there any pain? No, sir. Anywhere. Do what you couldn't do before. It's gone. Right now. Completely gone. And if I lie down smart, I can't sleep. I have to Come on, give Jesus praise. 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 I lay my hands upon you. And I take away this curse of darkness upon your life. Leave her right now. In the name of Jesus, I set you free. In the name of Jesus Christ. To open up the doors of the prison to them that are bound. I declare that this bondage comes to an end. And I call your helpers into your life right now. I call your helpers into your life. Hold my hands. Your prayers has been answered. The Lord is going to anoint you right now. An anointing will come upon your life. And you step into a new dimension of grace. Lord use him for your glory. Let him never be the same. Never ever be the same eyes to see ears to hear in the name of jesus christ eyes to see ears to hear by the power of the holy spirit eyes to see and ears to hear come let me pray for the remaining in the name of the lord jesus 
it does not have problem what you were delivered from is what is making him behave that way there's nothing wrong with the boy it's not is it not, is it not because he's stubborn and he's disobeying you it's not just about it's, it's not just about stealing now is it not to pick steal your money uh, is that not what you are talking yes, about sir, yes, what sir. was in him is what you have been delivered from because that's where it came from it's Amen. not the boy the boy Amen. is not a thief Amen. in the name of Jesus out thank you Jesus Christ salvation comes to this family in the name of Jesus God bless you Acts chapter 3 Acts chapter 3 Acts chapter 3. Acts chapter 3. Verse 1. Are you there? Say amen. Allow Mike. Allow Mike. Where are you? You are praying right now and asking the Lord for a visitation. Please come quickly. I feel the rain. I feel the rain. I feel the rain. I feel the rain. It's raining. It's raining. It's raining. The Lord is saying, For I'm raising you as a savior to your family. I'm raising you as a savior to your family. Though the battle be fierce. But there is grace for you. Though the battle be fierce. But there is grace for you. The weakness and the limitation in your life. The Lord is taking away from you right now. There is a circumcision that will bring you power. In the name of Jesus. I see an angel of the Lord standing close to you. And pouring oil upon your head. That's what is coming upon you right now. Oil upon your head. The oil that makes you a warrior. The oil that makes you triumphant. In the name of Jesus. Shake everything that is not of the kingdom out of his life. Shake everything that is not of the kingdom out of his life. And let all that is left in him be that which is divine. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace, grace, grace. Let's just flow. I know there are many grace. No, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Not everybody. Come, that lady. Is your name Grace? Come, run. You're the one I'm talking about. A limitation is being taken away from your life right now as I speak. The Lord is, I don't know what it is, but I'm seeing the Lord remove something from your body now. It's a limitation so that it does not destroy you. Lord, let it leave her now. In the name of Jesus, let it leave her right now. Now. It's like a cutting away. That's what I see in the spirit. Gabriel, 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 you are wearing blue, something like a kaftan, a kaftan or something, blue. Gabriel, you came alone? Come, from where? Kaduna, all the way. Yes, sir. What do you do? I'm a copper. You are a copper. Yes, sir. The Lord says, I should tell you, it's not by power, not by might, not by power, but it's by my spirit. Because the Lord is going to use you to end a lot of hardship in your family. You believe that? Yes, sir. What did you study? Mass communication. 
Where do you think you are going to walk? TVC. What? TVC. What's TVC? It's a TV station. You you think so? Yes, sir. Are you sure? Not sure. They promise you a job? No. Prepare for a bank. Let me pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, even as you have shown me, let this come to pass by the anointing of the Spirit of God right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Do you have an elder sister? I'm seeing an elder person, a lady. Nobody like that stayed no, with you. I'm the first child. No, I'm not. An elder sister it may not necessarily be biological because God wants to speak to. I'm seeing a lady standing. Whatever it is, I ask in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Because that person who is standing, I'm seeing that is marriage issue. My, huh? My auntie. That's what I'm telling you. That she I'm brought seeing me a up. Lady. She's the one that brought you up. Yes. That's why I'm saying, do you have an elder sister? She's not married now. She's married to a Muslim. Mm -mm. Is that a marriage? Was was that marriage? No. Do you call that marriage? She has issues right now. Eh? She has a lot of issues. I'm not marriage. even talking about it. She has issues. What do you understand by marriage? Do I just come and stay in your house and then I say I am married? That's not marriage. Huh? And that thing is 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 demonic. Huh? She yes, needs sir. to be delivered. Marriage issues. Father, in the name of Jesus, you reveal this. Open her eyes. In the name of Jesus, open her eyes and set the family free. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Deborah. 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 Please, let's just, let's just flow with what the Holy Spirit is doing. No, Deborah ushers. Ushers. Deborah ushers. She's, if she's outside, call her to come in, please. The Lord is saying that it's time for him to wipe the tears of your family. This is what the Lord is saying, I should tell you. Is your brother here? He's not here. Who is here from your family? Nobody. You are not sure. Huh? Because our father is outside. Please, can he come? The Lord wants to put an end to the captivity in this family. He's wearing white, white, white kaftan, white kaftan. Daddy, God bless you, sir. I want to pray for you, sir, so that the devil will not put stroke in your body. Stroke. Because I'm seeing this side. And I'm seeing it affected. And then eventually you will not be able to lift your hand and your legs. And the Lord is saying he's bringing an end to captivity in this family. Stretch your hands and let's pray for them. In the name of Jesus. Father, step into this family right now. Let me tell you, it doesn't take time. In a minute, God can wipe the tears of a family. In a minute. In a minute. In a minute. Let me pray for you, Daddy. I curse every spirit of infirmity. And I set you free, sir. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Every limitation in your academics is rolled away now. Every limitation in your academic is rolled away now. Every limitation in your academic is rolled away right now. I'm seeing a woman. You came here. You are wearing glasses. You wore a traditional attire. You're a woman. You are fair. You are wearing glasses. Glasses. Is there someone like that, please? No, 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 no. I mean, there's, there's a woman. This is a, a married woman. You're wearing glasses. Is there someone like that, please? The Lord is revealing this to me. A married woman. Where is it? You're wearing glasses. Huh? Where are the glasses? Please begin to pray. Tell the Lord to visit you and visit your family. 
This is why we're here tonight. Please pray. Please, please pray from the depth of your heart. There is, there is a lady. Um, one of these ladies of incomparable, incomparable, very fair. You are light-skinned. I don't know her name. They used to come and greet me sometimes. Very fair, light-skinned, incomparable. This incomparable beauty crew. Where are they? Come now. The Lord wants to end captivity in your family. Mama, the Lord is telling me that I should tell you that he will reward you greatly. He will reward you greatly. Please stand up. Please stand up. Please stand up. He will reward you. I need to pray for you. Your family is under serious demonic attack. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Where are you from? Benway State. Sir. Eh? Benway State. Benway State. Come. This is, this is the spirit of death. No, no. Step down. This is the spirit of death and we must pray and take authority over it. Father, I curse that spirit now. Go! By the power of the Holy Spirit on your life and that of your family members in the name that is above all names, I command that attack to come to an end. And God wants a deeper relation. Look at me. God wants a deeper relationship with you. He says I should tell you that you need to give him time and you need to commit yourself passionately to the things of God. Yes. Mama, let me pray for you. It's not just because of old age. Your eye issue is not just because of old age. This is a demonic thing. That's why God identified you even with the glasses. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Someone came from Kano. 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 Someone came in from Kano. You are the only person from Kano. Kano. This is a family. Oh, this is not just one person I'm talking about. Please. Ah, this is a family. You are not the only one that came. In the name of Jesus, Mama, I pray for you. That the God of heaven. Do you have a daughter, Mama? Where is she? She's in Abuja. She's in Abuja? Yes. Is she married? Yes. I have two daughters. The first one. The first one, she's married. Have you heard from her? Yes. She's doing well? She's fine. You think so? But she's looking for a job. We have to pray for her. Okay. Because I'm seeing a problem with her marriage. Okay. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Let mama have no reason to cry. Because of what is happening to her children. In the name of Jesus Christ. Mama, the Lord is renewing your strength. The back pain you used to have in the morning is gone right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Kano, is there a family that came from Kano? A family. I know individuals came, but is there at least more than one person? Because this I'm seeing like a family. All of you came from Kano. I don't mean you are based there. You traveled from there to here. This word is for a family. This word is for a family. This word is for a family. But let me pray for you. Come. We have to pray. Look at me. That, so that the devil will not kill your potentials. I'm seeing books. And I'm seeing a spirit sitting on it. This is what I'm seeing. Books. And I'm seeing a spirit sitting on it. Father, in the name of Jesus, let there be restoration. I declare the opening of the gates of destiny for you. See, let me tell you tonight, if things are not going right, don't pretend they are going right. Fight it out here. We are, going, are you getting what I'm saying? Please, this is why God prepared this meeting. Don't come and waste your time. The Lord specifically kept speaking to me that tonight is dedicated for families. No matter how you are doing well, if your family is not doing well, you are not fine. Are you hearing what I'm saying? 
So don't let anybody just distract you and make it look like you are wasting your time. Hallelujah. Ella, come, let me pray for you so that your mother will not be told that she's sick. Lord, I destroy any yoke of sickness over her mom's life in the name of Jesus. This lady, you that tied something forward. No, no, no. This one, yes, come, 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 come. Just let me pray for you. Is it Gozier or Chi Gozier? Something that has, it's like an Igbo name. It has Gozier in it. I know there's I.E. Gozier or something like that. Is there anyone like that? Whether, I, I don't know if it's your name or son name or something. But I'm saying a Gozier. The Lord is asking me to pray for you. And he's saying he's bringing restoration to your family. In the name of Jesus, He's bringing restoration to your family. He's bringing restoration to your family. What's your name? Eh? Anozie. Yes. Okay, I saw something. Was, okay, come. Let me pray for you. Where are you coming from? Mina. Mina. Yes. All the way from Mina. Yes. What do you do? I'm a master student. Mina. Let me pray for you. There are doors that the Lord wants to open for you. But it will have to be by prophecy. It will not just open like that. Father, let those doors be open right now. By the spirit of the Lord Jesus Christ. I declare that those doors of limitations are open right now for you. In the name of Jesus. Jennifer. Jennifer. I'm hearing the name Jennifer. 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 Is that your name? You are Jennifer. No, this is not just this Jennifer. I will talk to you, but Jenny, anybody, other person with the name Jennifer? You are Jennifer. Who else is Jennifer? Not a name you know alone, a name that everybody knows as Jennifer. Please don't just stand up and come carelessly. Think about what we're saying. Who is you are all Jennifer? Who is from Kaduna? You are from Kaduna. I'll pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, lay your hands on your stomach. There will be no death in your families. The sound of death will not be heard. Out! That devil of death. You will leave her family right now. Because I'm seeing that there would have been a lamentation August 7th. But in the name of Jesus, we cancel it by the power of the Holy Spirit. The power of the Holy Spirit. There will be no death 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 in the name of Jesus Christ can I pray for you the Lord is bringing healing healing to somebody in your family healing to someone in your family in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ your mother is from Kaduna your mom is from Kaduna who is from Kataf Zango Kataf your mother is from Zango Kataf let me pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I pray that the limitation over this family be lifted right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Hallelujah. Ada, is it Adamu? Adamu? There is Adamu. I don't know if it's your name. Son name, Adamu. Adamu. Your name is Adamu. Your son name. Yes, Where are you from? I'm from Kogi State. You are? Kogi State. Kogi State. Where are you coming from? Where are you coming from now? A mantle. A mantle. You love God very well. Yes, sir. Are you sure? Yes, if God tells you he wants to use you, will you allow him to use you? Yes, sir. Because there are so many things God wants to do in and through your life. I hear in my spirit, the rejected stone has become the chief cornerstone. 
The rejected stone has become the chief cornerstone. The Lord says, I should tell you that I will do mighty things in and through you. For the stone that was rejected has become the chief cornerstone. The Lord brings a visitation to your life. You will go through series of spiritual experiences. Father, let there be a birthing. Hold my hands. Change him, oh God. The first thing that will happen to you is a circumcision. The pruning of the old. I cast the spirit that stops you from walking with God. Let it leave now. For he will not pour new wine in an old wine skin. I cast that spirit. Give way for the king to come into his life. Please bring him up. Lord, let the prophetic teaching anointing come upon him. Make him a mighty man. Put a hunger and a desire in his heart for your word. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ah. Outside, there is somebody I want to speak to. I'm seeing an angel of the Lord outside towards the extreme back. The power of God is going to come upon one person there mightily. Please let the ushers bring the person. I need to speak to the person. Outside, towards the back, towards the end part. The power of God will come mightily and strong upon one person there. For I will make you like Deborah said the Spirit of God. I will make you a mighty warrior said the Spirit of God. Today I lift away from your life the distractions. Distractions. The Lord is taking away distractions from your life. Distractions. Seeing then that we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses. So let us therefore lay aside every weight and the sin that doth easily beset us. And run with perseverance the race. Hallelujah. Stand behind her. I'm seeing the power of God coming on her. I don't know what it is for, but the anointing of the Spirit is coming strong upon her. There is something God is taking out of her family. No, the usher, not even the lady, you, usher. God is taking away something out of your life. Hallelujah. Emmanuel, come. Ventura, the Lord is lifting darkness from your family. The Lord is lifting darkness from your family. 
darkness from your family it must roll away now it's lifting darkness from your family Amaka and Adora, come. Come quickly, quickly. The Spirit of the Lord says, I should tell you the feast of new things. The feast of new things. Hold hands together. The feast of new things. The feast of new things. The feast of new things. Ah, He will wipe away that which is of the old. And he will bring you into the new. The Lord says, I should tell you the feast of new things. I am doing a feast of new things. Bringing into your life a feast of new things. A feast of new things. The anointing of the Spirit will make this happen. Let it flow to you right now. And change you. Change you. Change you. Change you. Your father is a police officer. Your dad is a police officer. Your dad is a police officer. Your dad is a police officer. Please, where is the person? In Zaria here, not outside of Zaria. A police officer in Zaria here. the Lord with all your heart and the Lord will use you but there are many things that need to be pruned there are distractions in your life distractions your name is Emmanuel and it means God is with you there are distractions little things sway you your life is too emotional to walk with God. You need stability. Therefore, in the name of the Lord Jesus, I impart upon you strength in your spirit, man. Strength. Take it now. The strength of the spirit. It will come upon you strongly. I've laid hands on you. You will never be able to be weak and dwindle around again. Sitila, come quickly. There are weights that must be broken. The Spirit of God says, Weights, weights, they must be broken. Weights, they must be broken. Cares and weights and worries. Cast your cares before the Lord because the Lord wants to do great things in your life, but there are weights. Wait, wait. There are weights. Oh God, may those weights give way right now. In the name of Jesus. Ken, an angel is standing close to you. And I'm seeing oil being poured upon you. And the Lord is saying, Again, I will visit your family. Again, I will visit your family. Again, I will visit your family. Lord, let that oil be poured upon him for his family. The Lord is saying, again, I will visit your family. Again, I will visit your family. That's what the Lord is saying. Again, I will visit your family. And this time around, it will be with power. Again, I will visit your family. My dear, may the Lord anoint you. It's an anointing that is coming upon you. May the Lord anoint you. You are weak in the spirit. I strengthen you right now by the power of the Holy Spirit.
you gave me a brand new song to sing to you that's why i will lift up my voice and sing yeah 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 Lord, you took my pain away, and then you gave me joy. You're my peace, my melody in the center of the storm. You gave me a brand new song to sing to you. That's why I will lift up my voice and say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Lord is giving you beauty for ashes. Beauty for ashes. Beauty for ashes. And a garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. Beauty for ashes. There is a woman that came here with a sick child. There is a woman that came here with a sick child. What's wrong with him? Help her with the mic. No mic. What's wrong with him? Huh? SS. SS. This is not the situation. I'll pray for him, but in fact, this. This is a baby. It's not even somebody as old as this. This is somebody within the age range of maybe a small child that is sick. I don't know if it's inside or outside. The Lord wants to heal that person. Go dear. Go dear. Go dear. Come, your breakthrough has come. Yeah, yeah. Where are you coming from? Samaru. You believe Jesus will touch you right now? You believe that? Do you love Jesus? I love Jesus. And other things. You know what I'm talking about, right? Listen, you have to give God everything. Everything. I'm not talking of born again. Everything. Total surrender. Are you getting what I'm saying? There's no one leg in, one leg out. It has to be completely all for him. Hold my hands and let me pray for you. You all good, yeah? I'll pray for you. Will you let her go now in the name of Jesus? I see you in the spirit. You will let her go now. I'm speaking to this other lady. Don't worry, she may not be looking at me. I'm not talking to her. Release her family right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I cause darkness. I cause darkness over the family. I set you free right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. From every power that is not of God. Madam. I will, there will be a prayer session and I'll pray for your son. But let me just lay hands on him since you came out. Someone had a dream this morning. You saw me laying hands on you just this morning. Early this morning. I know people have this kind of dream, but someone specifically had that dream this morning. Father, heal this boy. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, look at me. You love Jesus with all your heart. Very much. He will do mighty things through your life. Just be patient. Okay. Huh? Now is not the time of manifestation. Now is the time of building. But it is true that he will do mighty things through your life. Hold my hands. 
Father, do to her what she saw in the dream. In the name of Jesus. It will do something to your spirit. It's an awakening that is happening to you. Break the chains of limitation over you now. I cause those chains. I set them on fire. In the name that is above all names. May those chains be broken. And I separate you from error. There is a spirit of error that can come with zeal when it is misdirected. I separate you from error. You will be circumspect and you will only be accurate. In the name of Jesus. Where is Isaac in ushering? Is he around? It's time for you to step into a new level. The Lord is removing something. I'm seeing like a surgery being done on you. There is something that so badly keeps you from rising to the next level. And the Lord says, it's time I prune it. It's a desire. It's an appetite that he's killing because it does not come from him. He wants to do mighty things. Hold my hands. Kill that appetite, oh God. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Let that live. Everything that does not name the name of Christ, may it live. Come. This gentleman, you. It's time to respond to the dream you had. Come. These are wicked forces of darkness. Tying your life and your destiny down with delay. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I set you free by the power of God. That demonic dream and the experience that, had, that you had there, let it never return again. In the name of Jesus Christ, whatever gives them legal access to your life is sealed and broken by the blood. last person and then we we'll just come my dear this lady no yes come you now yes let no man despise you for out of you will come a treasure let no one despise you. Let no one despise you. For out of you will come a treasure. The Lord says, I should tell you, there is this treasure that is hidden in earthen vessels. That the excellency, the power may be of God and not of God. Come, hold my hands. There is a fragrance that is coming upon your life from today. That will make you uncommon. Uncommon. Distinguished. For you love the Lord with your whole heart. You love the Lord with your whole heart. Father, in the name of Jesus, everything that makes men despise, I curse it. I curse it. Hallelujah. Wow. Acts chapter 3. to your neighbor and say are you still here I just want to charge us a bit welcome everybody all those who came from far and near honor you glad to have you here you will never be the same now Peter and John went up together into the temple at the hour of prayer being the ninth hour and a certain man lame from birth was carried whom they laid daily at the gate of the temple which is called beautiful to ask alms of them that entered into the temple who seen Peter and John follow me closely about to go into the temple asked an arm 
And Peter fastened, fastening his eyes upon him with John said, look on us. And this is the key verse, verse 5. Let's read together. One to read. And he gave heed unto them, expecting to receive something. Expecting to receive something. When he said, look on us, they paid attention because they were expecting that they were going to receive something. As I began to pray and say, Lord, what would I share with your people? The Lord said, the only thing I need from them is expectation. Expectation. Expectation is a proof of faith. Expectation is a proof that you trust God. Hallelujah. If you, if you tell me you are hungry and I dip my hands in my pocket, automatically you begin to have a sign of expectation because you anticipate that I'm bringing out something. Is that true? And so you begin to position yourself to receive and say thank you. The only thing God is asking from you tonight is that you be expectant. Expect that sickness to leave your body. Expect that family captivity to come to an end. Expect the Lord to visit you. Expect to step into new levels of the anointing. Expect that no matter what the challenge is, the power of God can step into your life. It does not take time. It only takes the spirit of God. For where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Where the spirit of the Lord is not there is no liberty I want you to know that the spirit of God is in this place tonight and the only message the Lord asks me to communicate to you is that your heart be expectant expectant Lord I expect to be healed I expect that you will wipe my tears I expect that this situation in my life will change at once I expect it I expect it do you believe? Do you expect that God will do something in your life? God is already visiting people. You do not imagine the degree of spiritual preparation that goes in to all of our meetings. Talk less of the miracle service. So I want you to know that there is enough grace. There is enough anointing. Hallelujah. Right away we'll begin to pray and I'll just be moving in the anointing and God will minister to us. Please and please let your heart be expectant that's the only message the lord asked me to give us tonight expectation expectation expect that that which you wrote in your prayer request will be answered expect that that which you came down see don't look at the situation just be expectant be expectant the greatest enemy to expectation is your past your history your track record of failure. Your track record of the seeming shortcomings of God. So every time you expect, you say, but I prayed before. But I fasted before. It says, forgetting the things that are behind. Forgetting what happened yesterday or what did not happen yesterday. I press. Everyone say, I press. I press. Hallelujah. Rise up on your feet. We are going to pray. Just for two to five minutes. That's the only message the Lord asked me to bring to us tonight. Expectation. Let there be a, a depth of expectation in your heart. Lift your voice and cry to God. And say, Lord, I am expectant. Pray. Lord, as your power moves and as your spirit is touching men, I am expectant. I came with a hunger. I came for a touch. I came for an encounter. I came with an expectation.
Alléluia. 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 Before we pray, come, Pastor Femi. The Lord says I should tell you, He's opening you up to a season of wisdom. 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 He's opening you up to strange wisdom. Wisdom. That's what you are receiving. Wisdom. Strong wisdom. He's opening you up to a season of wisdom. That's what you need for the next level of your life. Wisdom. Tremendous wisdom. The wisdom of the Spirit. The wisdom of the Spirit. The wisdom of the Spirit. He's giving you wisdom. He's giving you wisdom. He's giving you wisdom. Lord, I pray that you activate fountains of wisdom in him. Strange order of wisdom. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Wisdom in your decisions. Dimensions of wisdom that you have never seen before. You will make decisions that will accelerate your life. Accelerate ministry. Hallelujah. In one minute, mention everything you came with as a challenge. And say, Lord, the time has come for your grace and your power. Shalom, Shalom, Jehovah, Shalom, Shalom, you're welcome in this place, Shalom, Shalom, my father, Shalom, Shalom. You're welcome in this place. Shalom, shalom. Jehovah, shalom. Shalom. You're welcome in this place. Shalom, Jehovah, shalom. Shalom, shalom. Jehovah, shalom. Shalom. You're welcome in this place. One more time. Shalom, yeah. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. We are starting tonight with individuals that God is giving them breakthroughs. Every single one of those individuals will come under the anointing of the Spirit. At the count of three. Just those individuals. One, two, three. Now, now, take it. Take it. Take it. Take it now. That breaker anointing. I release it right now. Right now, right now, right now. All the ones separated for breakthroughs right now. Inside and outside. I release that breakthrough anointing. That breakthrough anointing. Right now, that breakthrough anointing. Right now, shake it, take it, take it, take it. It comes 
like a mighty rushing wind the breakthrough anointing the breakthrough unction enough of that level enough of that dimension I speak it I declare it I prophesy it and I release it take it from your belly out of your belly let it gush like living waters out of your belly that breaker anointing in the name of Jesus out of your belly that breaker anointing breakthroughs 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 I end the struggle I end the struggle I end the struggle by the breakthrough anointing I end the struggle right now I end the struggle right now all over the building I end the struggle right now Shaka ba 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 Shaka ta ba 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 Shaka ta ka ta Empro ta se ke te Ele ke te bo so to ba Para ta ri ke te bo lo se ke te Se ke te ke te le ke te bo Empro ta ta da ka ti de bo sha Se ke te le ko to shia Hallelujah Hallelujah Everyone lay your hands on your stomach Just lay your hands on your stomach Hallelujah. Lay your hands on your stomach. He said, For out of your belly, something will happen to some people right now. Out of your belly, just keep your hands there. Father, in the name of Jesus, where are the ones you are separating? Spiritual breakthroughs. Right now. Right now. At right now, from your belly. From your belly. From your belly. From your belly in the name of Jesus out of your belly let it flow let it flow living waters living waters living waters new dimensions living waters from your innermost being from your innermost being from your innermost being from your innermost being a busting thought of new wine a busting thought of new wine a busting thought of new wine a busting thought Hallelujah. 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 Sabarada balada bakatia. There are people here right now. Listen. You came here because you are confused. There is no direction. You are trusting God for direction. You have prayed but there is nothing to do. You need direction desperately. Lift your hands. Lord, I pray wherever they are right now, by the light of the Spirit, my Father locates them. Receive direction right now. Receive direction right now. Marital direction. Academic direction. Receive direction. Receive direction. I put it in your spirit by the light of God. I put it in your spirit by the light of God. I put it in your spirit by the light of God. By the light of God. By the illumination of the spirit. Direction. You will hear that voice. You will hear that voice. You will hear that voice saying this is the way you will hear that voice saying this is the strategy you will hear that voice hallelujah 
Hallelujah. Lift your hands. The Lord wants to destroy marital delay. This is what is happening right now. Marital, just keep your hands. Just do what I'm telling you to do. Hallelujah. Now hear me. There are people here who God wants to release them into their marital destiny. But there are horns and powers that has kept them down. You may think it's finances or you may think it's this and that but the enemy has done this. Lift your hands. Father, in the name of Jesus. I release you right now. I release you. I release your family. I release your sisters. That power that has held your marital destiny. Hear the voice of the Lord. That power that has stopped marriage in your family. I speak in the name of Jesus. Be loose right now. 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 Hallelujah. Now, lift your hands. I'm seeing in the spirit a tree without fruit. And so I know the Lord wants me to destroy barrenness. 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 There is someone who came here with that situation. I don't know if it's a couple or somebody. You are expecting a miracle desperately. Let me have that one person come out. I'm going to pray for everybody right now, but we need to break that yoke right now. We need to break that yoke right now. There are families tied down. There are families tied down. When you identify that person, the person can come out. Lift your hands. Let me pray. No, the Lord wants the family to come out first. Come out first. Celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah. Where are you coming from, sir? Kaduna. Kaduna. Yes, sir. Where's your wife? She left my house October 26th. We don't have the courage and she packed her things and she left. We were married for eight years, no child. You've been married for eight years no child. with no child. And so because of the frustration, she left. Do you know where she is? She's in Kaduna in her mother's house. Why did she leave? Because Look at how the devil steps in to destroy families. Eight years and is living because there is no child. But are you still in touch? Well, the church tried to call her. She didn't answer. So I left her alone. I was just praying that God should just intervene. So a friend of mine invited me from Kaduna to come to this program. Where is the friend? Friend, come. I need to pray for you. May God bless you. Let's celebrate the friend. Hallelujah. These are the kind of useful and relevant friends that God should bring in your life. Friend, where are you? May God bless you. You are a good friend for inviting him to come and receive breakthrough. do you believe your wife will come back yes sir you want her back yes sir. i'm going to pray for you your wife will return back Amen. forget about what has happened god will give you two boys two girls Hallelujah. Let me pray for you, sir. You are a good man and you love God. Not only that, what do you do? 
I work in an electronics company, Samsung. So when we had this issue of this marriage, they have to let go of me, but I have my own personal business in Kaduna, which I, know I God established. Is you. Yes, this marriage has destroyed too many things in your life. You've lost money, you've lost a lot of people, even cars. Because I'm seeing somebody that really used to be blessed. What is like things are going down. The Lord is going to restore you. Amen. You believe that? You believe that? Yes, sir. Therefore, what God has joined. The Bible says, let no man put asunder. You need to be delivered. Right? There is a spirit that is making these things happen. You are a good man. You will be delivered right now. I curse that spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Shabaka Protos of I release your destiny right now. In the name of Jesus. I call forth your wife into your life and I open the fountains of fruitfulness. The Lord showed me two boys, two girls, and I release them to your life. This power that has tied you down and tied your family, in the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare that it is released right now. In the name of Jesus, I'm holding your hands and with these hands, may your business jack up beyond that which you have ever known. And I pray in the name of Jesus that the Lord will restore your fortune and he will bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. Friend, come. Where are you from? Kaduna too? Ka Zaria. Yeah. Zaria, yeah. You came alone? Yes. No, I came with a friend. What would you want the Lord to do in your life? Marital breakthrough. Marital breakthrough. Yes. What does that mean? Marriage or health yes. in your marriage? Marriage. Marriage. When? This year. You believe it? Yes. Or you're just saying it? You have already spoken the word and it's happening. Let me pray for you. Father, you anointed us to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. To appoint unto them. And in the name of Jesus, I declare that before this year runs out, your husband comes to you and may you be happily married. You will marry a godly man. May you marry a blessed man. One who will love you and fear the Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. God bless you, sir. Now lift your hands and let me pray. I'm praying for barrenness. I don't care what represents barrenness in any area of your life. Lift your hands. Barrenness can mean unfruitfulness in any aspect. It says, Naaman was the captain of the Syrian army, but he was leprous. It was an area of barrenness. Barrenness is that aspect of your life that is not productive. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you right now. Lift your hands. Father, there are people who like a vine have refused to bear fruit in different areas. Others want to bear fruit but the enemy has stopped it. I pray for you right now. Every power that is sitting on your fruitfulness. Where are those people who barrenness have held their lives? Where are those people in the name of Jesus? Let fire come upon you now. Let fire come upon you now. I destroy the hold of barrenness. Everywhere in this building, I break the chains of barrenness. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This row, can you lift your hands? Just this row. Just this row. Just keep your hands lifted. I see a wind blowing through this room. Barrenness be destroyed from the back to the front. Back to the front. Back to the front. There is no hiding. Back to the front. There are many people in this room. I break it right now. I break it right now. Right now to the back. From the back to the front. Back to the front. Back to the front. Back to the front, back to the front, 
in the name of Jesus Christ anyone under any influence of unfruitfulness right to the back in the name of Jesus be set free hallelujah now lift your hands I want to minister deliverance to the oppressed this sign shall follow them that believe in my name they shall cast out devils when the spiritual limitation is taken away then your life will move forward what will happen tonight is not just for you but for every family you represent so there are people who will come under the influence of the anointing to be delivered not just for themselves but for their families and the families you represent lift your hands father in the name that is above all names i'm praying there are spirits sitting on families and the destinies of people appearing to people in dreams and visions and corrupting your purposes for their lives and lord it's time for them to go because this is mount zion now therefore i speak to every foul spirit every devil of darkness every yoke every territorial power that sits across territories I speak in the name of Jesus by the authority of the Lord Jesus and I come under an apostolic anointing I bring every spirit under arrest and I command that you will live at the count of three now at the count of three I want you to shout the name Jesus and they must leave you one two three second spirit husband every territorial power ancestral spirits that tie people and families come out now come out now come out now come out of god's people in the name of jesus bring them out in the name of jesus i cost those powers I cost those powers. I cost those powers. I cost those powers. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. I see spirits that come to people in night visions and dreams. Make intercourse with them and destroy their lives. Keep those hands lifted. Lord, where are those people? Let the sword of judgment find them now. Let the sword of judgment find them now. Let the sword of judgment sisters lift your hands a spirit will prefer to oppress a sister than a brother because with one sister there are many people that can become victims not because of immorality or anything it's just the nature the compelling character of women I pray right now anyone here whether you know it or not that is under the influence of any spirit that is not of God I pray and stretch my hands right now in the name of Jesus let fire come upon that spirit let fire come upon that spirit come upon that spirit Let's go. 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 Let's go.
Hallelujah. The Holy Ghost is speaking to me. That there are people here that start things but never finish. There are families that start things. You've been building a house for 10 years and will never complete it. Lift your hands. The finisher's anointing is going to come upon a few people right now. That grace to start and finish at the count of three is coming upon you for your destiny. Coming upon you for your family. Receive it right now. One, two, three. The finisher's anointing breaking the course of delay. The finisher's anointing breaking the yoke of delay. Projects that have refused to finish. Projects that have refused to finish. Hallelujah. I hear the chains falling. I hear the chains falling. I hear the chains falling. Hallelujah. Now, for all those who came with sick people, you can march to the front now for prayer. Inside and outside. It's time to pray for the sick. Instrumentalists give us very anointed tunes. Worship team, help us. While that is happening, if you've not written your prayer request, do that quickly. And in case you think you need to add something to it, please don't stop playing. While you are seated here, the power of God is visiting you. So be in the spirit, inside and outside, no matter how far you are, connect in the spirit. You can call your loved ones to quickly send in their requests. There is a God that answers prayer. Please make way for those who are coming out. Jesus is a healer. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. I want you to wave goodbye to your infirmities and mean business with it. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want you to believe that Jesus still heals and he will heal you right now. Hallelujah. We'll be very fast about it. Yep. Just give her a chair. Hallelujah. All of you standing here, believe that Jesus will heal you right now. He will give us a sign. And the sign will be from one of you. Something will happen to one of you right now. And that will give us the sign of the stirring of the waters. power of God will come strongly upon one of you right now when that happens then it will allow us to pray for the sick right now
floodgates in abundance. Thank you, Jesus. Father, let there be miracles. I see miracles everywhere. Be discerning, be spiritual. Miracles everywhere. I see miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. I see miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. Right, right now. Right now. Right now. Miracles everywhere. I see miracles. Miracles everywhere. I see miracles. Miracles
Gajagaja. From where? Pambigua. Pambigua. Yes, sir. You brought him from Pambigua. Yes. Sir. What's wrong with him? You know, this is the stomach. The stomach, the stomach is swollen. Yes. It's a witchcraft attack. Witchcraft attack. They remove a bone. Ah ah. Now tell me all the details. What is wrong with him? You don't know. It's witchcraft attack, sir. Oga, we love Jesus. Gaskia, you understand English now? Conjuring Boka. Go back, Abba. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Not once, not twice. Yes, sir. Because I'm seeing a shrine. I'm seeing yes. concoctions. Yes, sir. I'm even seeing them pour something and they are yes, yes, drinking. Sir. Yes, sir. See, these are some of the things that you, when you know something is demonic, you don't add it with another. The devil will never heal you. It will backfire. Yes, sir. You understand? Yes, sir. Thank God for Jesus. Yes. He loves God. He loves God. Yes. yes. Oh, yes. Selena, this is where we need, sir. Talk to him. Tell him Jesus will pray. Tell him what she needs to Can't walk well. Eh? Hold on, don't worry. Ogasa, talk to him. You'll be interpreting him. Huh? Tell him in the name of Jesus. He will walk well now. And that witchcraft attack will leave. Ask him if he believes. And tell him to go. What's this? The medical report? Father, this is why you anointed us. Every power that is not of God, I set you free from it right now. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, you will walk normally by yourself. I release upon you the power that comes in the name of the Lord Jesus. For those of you who have never seen a miracle, watch closely what happens now. Oh, hallelujah. I feel the healing anointing coming upon him. Stomach bloated. Jesus sets you free. I come in the name of the Lord. Tell him to hold my hands. Tell him to hold my hands. Release him. Release him. Walk. Come. Come. Tell him to come. happened to him now. Yes, 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 yes. let me tell you something it's not only settled I pray for you yes, that not only this will happen but God will use you to do this Amen. same thing receive that anointing right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ Baba tell him from today no witchcraft power will paralyze and keep him again I appreciate God. Go back to your seat. God bless you. Oh, oh, oh.
as fresh as that of a baby. This thing is not because of guitar. This is witchcraft. The devil does not want you to play onto the glory of God. Oh, you, you want play, to play for a club now, this hand will be healed. The devil is a liar. You Hallelujah. That's how he keeps play robbing guitar. the church of potential people who worship God. Praise the Lord. You believe Jesus will heal you? All this. Look at me. I'm going to pray for you. And the power of God will come upon you. You believe that? And then you move your whole hand and begin to try it. Say after me, Jesus. I believe. I believe. You're the son of the living God. You're the son of the living God. Right now. Right now. Life to my hands. Life to my hands. Say it again. Life to my hands. Life to my hands. Look at what is happening to his hands. 
cannot move them. Go ahead and begin to move it. Go ahead, begin to move it. Move it by yourself. Go ahead, move it. Move it. Start moving your fingers. Look at this. He couldn't move his fingers. Look at this. Go ahead. Go ahead. Do what I'm doing. Hold it like this. Go ahead. Keep moving. Come on, give Jesus praise. Couldn't use this at all. Couldn't even move. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare that these hands become perfected. Can you see how the hands are? I mean, so stunned. You cannot even use it. Keep doing it. Keep shaking it. The power has gone and your hand recovers completely. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen and amen. Give Jesus praise. If we lift our hands, He will lift 
Oh, you say oh, of God. Now we say it again. Call to him. He will run to us. He will run to him. He will run to us. He will lift our hands. He will lift our hands. Come now, pray. Praise his name. Oh, you say it's of God. Say. Oh, see. To him, he will answer us. If we run to him, he will run to us. If we lift our head, he will lift us up. Come now, praise his name. Oh, you say it's of God. One time. If we call to him, he will run to us. If we run to him, he will run to us. If we lift our head, he will lift Oh, sing, oh, sing, God, to God, God. All the way, all the way, we go to hell. Hell from the day by day. All the way, all the way, we go to hell. What the Lord has done, He has destroyed the works of Satan. He has given us victory. That's why we sing, Oh, say, yeah. Have you heard what the Lord has done? He has destroyed the works of Satan. He has given us the victory. That's why we sing, Oh, say, yeah. I say yeah, yeah. I say yeah. win a baba. I say yeah. I say yeah. yeah. You don't win no. Yeah. Oh say yeah. I say yeah. You don't win no. Higher, 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 oh, oh. 
Lord in the high 
Unto you that answers prayer will all flesh come, O oh God. We have come before the mighty one. I'd like you to pray. There is nothing that our God cannot do. There is nothing he cannot do. says unto you that answers prayers will all flesh come father this request represent the cries of your people this request represent the desires of your people this request represent the challenges of your people this request represents the obstacles that are standing on our path to destiny. These requests threaten the advancement of your kingdom in our lives. We pray in the name that is above all names that every request here be turned into a testimony. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. No matter how impossible the situation is, oh God, I pray that one by one, one by one, they will come and testify of your goodness. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Already for some, I heard that Victor's wife that we prayed for has been rushed to the hospital. Labor has started for her. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. This is a very prophetic moment. Please, everybody inside and outside, 
Don't let anyone distract you now. Lift your hands as we speak. Hallelujah. I love this part of the meeting because this is where everybody gets to be blessed. The power of prophecy and its ability to enter your life and change things. Please, I want you to believe. Please, I want you to believe. No matter how far you are inside and outside, I want you to believe. Hallelujah. Everything that represents limitation in your life. Everything that has stood as a limitation against your life and your destiny. I come in the name of the Lord God. The Lord God Almighty. And I declare that in this month of May, may that limitation be lifted up your life. May that limitation be lifted up your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you. Whatever has stopped the helpers of your destiny from locating where you are, whatever wrong advice, whatever wrong impression has been given to them about you and your family that has made them refuse to come to your aid. Makata katakata, sheketeketebaka, emproto seketelekata, mankratos katabalatapa, rebeketeketeketebeledebos. I call them into your life now in the name of Jesus Christ. I call the helpers of your destiny into your life now. I call the helpers of your destiny into your life now. I call the helpers of your destiny into your life now. hallelujah I pray for you this is the season where wisdom will be required for you to move to the next level listen the Bible says through wisdom a house is built and by understanding it is established through knowledge are the rooms filled with every treasurable thing wisdom for many of us is the key to the next level and this is not human wisdom it's not wisdom by scientific calculation. Strategies that are revealed of the spirit. Strategies that can take you in one day to realms that years have not brought you. I pray the wisdom of the spirit may it come upon you now in the name of Jesus Christ. The wisdom for the next dimension. The wisdom for the next dimension. The wisdom for the next dimension. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. One of the keys to a life of stagnation is confusion. Lack of direction. There's nothing as terrible as a man who is clueless about what to do. It can be frustrating when you are clueless. You are at the middle of an ocean and you don't know what to do. But there is the spirit of counsel and mind. The, the dimension of the operation of the spirit that comes and speaks peace to you in the name that is above all names. I pray for you that every decision you need to make every direction that you need to take for this second half of your life to truly be the year of the rain I release upon you that dimension of the spirit of counsel and might marital direction financial direction academic direction career direction no more confusion no more confusion no more confusion
Hallelujah. I pray for you. Part of the keys to stepping into the blessings of the Lord is the ability for your eyes to see opportunities. Hagar, listen, Hagar was in a place. It was a desert, but there was water. Her eyes could not see it. But when the angel of the Lord appeared unto her, suddenly she saw water. I pray you have been passing water and bless you and you have not been seeing it in this month of May. The anointing that opens the eyes of men to opportunities that can bless you. I release it upon you now. I release it upon you now. Where men see obstacles, may you see opportunities. Where men see stumbling blocks, may you see stepping stones. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says, God has not given us the spirit of fear. Fear has kept many people from moving forward. Fear of everything. Fear of death fear of failure fear of taking action fear of moving even when god says move you say i'm afraid start that business i'm afraid take a step to marry i'm afraid do this i'm afraid move on further i'm afraid i pray for you in the name of jesus every manifestation of fear every manifestation of fear that has kept your ego on the line that will not allow you soil your hand in destiny to make progress that keeps you from being afraid every manifestation of fear that gives you a feeling of being embarrassed to take a step I cause that fear now I cause that fear now I cause that fear now when they got to the Red Sea they were afraid and when Moses went before the Lord he said tell the people to move forward the signs don't go before you they follow you you will have to take a step as a sign that you trust God take the step and die taking it let it be that it was God that killed you there is no man that took a step in the name of the Lord that did not return with a testimony for some may trust in horses Others may trust in chariots. But for us, we trust in the name of the Lord. And everything we do in the name of the Lord. He said, whatsoever you do in word and in deed. Do it in the name of the Lord. I pray for you again. Fear has stopped millionaire businesses from starting up. Fear has stopped people from applying in places, high places. They think they are not qualified. Fear has stopped many of us. Fear has stopped you from starting the building project. Who said you are too young? So long as God gives you the signal. There are some of us. All of us are adults in our house. But our parents cannot boast of even a simple bungalow. Because of fear. You have 10,000. Go and buy a trip of sand and pour it on the ground and leave it there. Tell the devil I'm coming. Look let me tell you. You will never break through in life till you take the attitude of if I perish I perish I pray the boldness the audacity the strength the audacity to ride through without exhaustion to ride through without fear I release it upon you right now I release it upon you right now I pray for your academics. Shekete palabata. The ten times better anointing. Ma dekete kete tete keta. Shekete lepa. The distinguishing anointing. I release it upon you right now. I release it upon you right now. Listen. Anyone here. Or any family here that the devil is eyeing for death that is saying you will not see the next month or the end of this year I declare 
by the mystery of the blood the last card the hallmark of God's victory I judge the manifestation of death over your life I judge the manifestation of death over your family you will travel out and come back safe no armed robber will get you on the road no terrorist will attack you on the road when others say there is a casting down it will never be your testimony for you it will be that there is a lifting up in the name of Jesus I pray over your finances the grace to pay the price now and to pay the price early for a glorious financial future I release it every spirit of laziness every spirit of carelessness every spirit of lukewarmness every inertia every reluctance to begin to take appropriate financial decisions especially for the brothers I cause it to his root now in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for those trusting God for a miracle job I tell you the truth when the hand of the Lord upon you is upon you there will be a door that is open some of you are standing in for yourself and some for your loved ones I pray in the name that is above all names may God keep them supernatural jobs jobs that they will be proud of in the name of Jesus and Jabez was more honorable than his brethren it's one thing to be rich is one thing to be blessed but it's another thing to be honored honor is not something that money can buy i pray for you that mantle of honor that makes you distinguished and rewarded everywhere you go i release it upon you right now your superiors will honor you your contemporaries will honor you your subordinates will honor you even your enemies will honor you in the name of Jesus Christ and I pray for everything that has died or is dying here I don't care what it is projects that have died ideas that have died dreams that have died I speak to you in the name of Jesus come back to life come back to life visions that have died assignments that have died passions that have died strengths that have died I call it back to life in the name of Jesus every voice you have heard that has killed your dreams every voice you have heard that has killed your potentials the voice of your past the voice of your failure the voice of mediocre the voice of limitation I silence those voices from your life I silence those voices from your life. I pray for every ministry represented here. Greater grace and greater glory. Greater grace and greater glory. I pray for every business represented here. Greater grace and greater glory. I pray for every job represented here. Greater grace and greater glory. I pray for every family represented here. Greater grace and greater glory. I pray for every destiny represented here. Greater grace and greater glory. Greater grace and greater glory. Greater grace and greater glory. The Bible says, Thou anointest my head with oil and it makes my cup to run over. There is an anointing that comes upon your head that translates into increase in your life. Thou anointed my head with oil and that oil makes my cup, my source of supply to run over. I pray for you. The anointing that will give you wisdom. The anointing that will give you creativity. The anointing that will give you ideas, insight, concepts, strategies for wealth. I release it upon your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I pray for you in a name that is above all names every habit every issue every challenge every weight on your life that is eating up your Christian integrity that is eating up your work with God you love God but there are weights in your life that keep drawing you back to the way of sin I pray for you 
the hand of the Lord lifts you out of that nonsense. The grace of God picks you out of that limitation. Grace to say no to every appearance of evil. Grace to say no to everything that is ungodly. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray a special prayer for our brothers. I curse in your life the spirit of irresponsibility. One more time. I curse from your life and your vicinity every spirit that refuses you from rising as a man that you are. That entitlement mentality that makes you think someone else is responsible for your success. I curse that mindset in the name of Jesus. From today I release upon you grace. Grace to rise and take up the challenge of manhood. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you. You will not need to defend yourself. The Lord God Almighty will be your defense. The Lord will anoint you in such a way that even your enemies will walk towards your progress. In the name of Jesus. I prophesy restoration for everything you have lost. Restoration. 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 In the name of the Lord Jesus. And I pray for you. A new dimension in the spirit. A new level of prayer grace. A new level of word grace. A new dimension of encounters with the spirit of God. Where you are becoming lukewarm. Where you are losing the initial standard of your Christian experience. Where you are already bending. Bending against the things that would make you powerful. I pray for a restoration for you. Where you have lost the voice of the spirit. I command that you be to hear his voice again. Where you have lost zeal for the house of God. I command a restoration for you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I pray for you. All through the remaining part of May. Into June. Let it be a month of testimonies for you. Beginning from tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. All those who have been looking for you to bless you. May this be the season they find you. All those who have received instructions from God to hold your hands. And lift you up with no strings attached. But have not been able to find you. I pray. Listen. Listen. Samuel had already been ordained. I mean Saul ordained to be a king. But he needed to find Samuel. And they kept searching and he could not find Samuel. Until by the wisdom of God they were able to find him. You can be one anointing away from the next level of your life. You can be one prophetic impartation away. You can be one destiny helper away. I pray again for you. Whoever has been looking for you. Like the lost ass of Samson. Of, of Saul. Whoever has been looking for you to bless you and has not found you, may this be the season they find you. In the name of Jesus Christ. And finally, I pray for you. Nothing will rob your joy this month. This will be, the month of June will be for you a month of joy and laughter. In the name of Jesus Christ. Before miracle service next month, most of all your prayer requests would have been turned into testimonies. In the name of Jesus. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Hallelujah. Now, keep standing everybody. You're here and you need to return back to Jesus Christ. Keep standing everyone. You've heard the word of the Lord and you know that you need to make it right with Jesus. Maybe this is the first time you are running to Jesus genuinely to commit your life to him. Or you've once given your life to Jesus and you've seen that you are derailing and you need to make it right tonight. We will not end this meeting without giving you an opportunity.
to make Jesus Lord of your life or rededicate your life, wherever you are, make your way to the front right now. We have one minute for this. God bless you. God bless you as you come. God bless you as you come. Don't wait for anybody to be the first to come. Make your way. God bless you. God bless you. They are coming inside and outside. Celebrate them, Koinonia. God bless you as you come. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh to the Father but by me. God bless you as you come. Don't be ashamed. He will give you a new beginning. And he will supply grace. That you will go higher and higher. Higher and higher. Keep coming. Young and old, keep coming. Run to Jesus. Keep coming. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Don't sit back. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for coming to make a decision for Jesus. Just raise your right hand and repeat after me consciously and from the depth of your heart. You're not reciting a poem. This is, this is a confession that brings salvation unto you. Say after me, Lord Jesus, I believe in you. I declare from today that you are my Savior and you are my Lord. I receive of your life. I receive of your spirit. And I declare that from today, my sins are washed away. I am a brand new person. The hand of God is upon me. I receive grace to live the victorious Christian life. In the name of Jesus Christ, everything that is not of God, I take authority over it. I receive grace from God to live a victorious Christian life. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen and amen. I want to congratulate you for making this decision. It's the best decision you can make. This decides your eternal destiny. Hallelujah. Now, I'd like you to follow the gentleman waving his hands. They will have your details. They will welcome you more warmly. And then, we'll communicate to you through them. God bless you. This way. Draw that baby. Baby, this way. No, 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 no. All those who are worshipping with us for the first time, if this is your first time being here worshipping with us at Koinonia, please make your way to the front. You are most welcome. You are most welcome. Celebrate them as they come. God bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Come on, Koinonia. You can do better than this. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel, comment on it, like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline 